Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Childhood Finds. Thank you for joining me as always for a weekly What Sold video. From the title and the thumbnail, you can see that sales are still down. I am trying not to focus on the day-to-day -day and the week-to-week. -week. I'm trying to look at the bigger picture. It's stressful when you're with it, when you're really in the midst of the bad times, but luckily what I can say is I'm still up from last year, which was I was about six months into my full-time reselling at this time last year, and I'm up from that up about 50%, which actually wholeheartedly surprised me because it feels so slow right now. So I'm going to take that as a huge win and be completely grateful for that. I'm also continuing to consistently list, so I am staying on track with the goals I've set for myself. So that's great as well. But yes, it's still very slow, guys. It's hard right now. But pushing through, I just wanted to give you a fun anecdote because I thought this was hilarious. So I posted a 10 second video of my dog just for fun this weekend. And it went really well. I think his the video I posted of him has done better than any video I've ever had. Especially shorts. It's the best short I've ever posted. And it went really well. And it just made me laugh. So I did start a dog YouTube to put my dogs on. I'm not going to focus a lot on it, but I figure every once in a while if I have a cute video, I'll post it on there because YouTube doesn't love when you mix content from what I've read and heard. So if you are a person that likes some dogs, you can go and subscribe over there. I will put the link to that page down in my description. There's no pressure, guys. It's just for fun. I'm just doing it because... As many people, I love my pets and I am just going to do it as a little creative outlet to keep the stress down. But after all of that, please, I would love to hear about if you're a seller, I'd love to hear about any of your favorite sales this week or favorite thing you picked up or favorite thing that I sold if you don't do either sourcing or reselling. And I have some decent sales to show with you. Luckily, sales picked up at the end of the week, so I have some decent items for you to check out and for items for you to be on the lookout for. So let's go ahead and get started with those. Also, just as a side note, I didn't say the name of the other channel for my dogs. It's called Ruled by Hounds. Just if you're a person that's going to search it instead of look in the description, that's the name Ruled by Hounds. And again, it's just for fun. So if you're a dog person or an animal person in general, check that page out for me. Um, but we're going to get started with these sales. This first one is a brass tone metal cherub heart shaped stand up easel back frame vintage decor. This wasn't anything super special in the sense that it wasn't that old. It was vintage, but it wasn't an antique, nothing like that. But it was still a pretty frame and unique. I really couldn't find anything quite like the same as it. So I priced it at $24.95, sold for full asking. I bought it for $2 at a thrift store and it sold, I think, within a month or two. Next, we have this guy. He was pretty cute. He sang Feliz Navidad and he was loud. He was working very well and it's PBC International Feliz Navidad Christmas Animated Cisco Singing Donkey Works. Sold for full asking price within, I'd say, it's been one to two weeks and I picked him up for $3 at a thrift store. This I've had listed for, I'd say, eight to ten plus months, but it's very petite. And this is a cupie. So you'll recognize cupies by this face. It's a specific style. And so this is Rose O'Neill Bisque Cupie Doll, four and a half inch jointed figurine blue wing signed reed. This one was really cool because it's a very early one. And it was signed by Rose O'Neill on the feet. I don't know if I'll be able to... I know I have a picture. It's faint, but it's down there. You can't see it very well in that picture. But it was it was really neat to see the this and to research it to find something that was pretty. It was an older piece. Um, cupies are a little weird. I've sold a few cupies, and I tend to look for them. A lot of them aren't worth a ton of money, but there are some that are worth really, really big money. So it did sell for full asking of forty two ninety five. I have at most 50 cents into this. This was kind of in a bulk box at a, a estate sale where they just had us fill a box. So 50 cents at the most into this. Um, but it took eight to 10 months, but it's like four inches tall. It's four and a half inches tall, like I said, in the title. <laughs> Go figure. 
And then this I just picked up. Um, my fiance and I went to a thrift store last week and got a whole bunch of flatware. Yes, the um, people there thought I was a little wild. And I bought 251 pieces of flatware at this store. I'm going to make a short, short-ish flatware video next just to go over like the examples of my listings, how I sorted it, how to look for the pattern. I just to give a couple tips. If you're a person that does flatware and struggles with it, or someone that wants to try out flatware, I just want to share it as a little extra knowledge video because I love flatware. I love it so much. Um, it's something I never would have expected selling, but here we are. And but this book is a Poems of Walt Whitman Leaves of Grass 1902 Antique Intro by John Burroughs. It sold for a best offer of $20, picked it up for 80 cents, and it sold in a few days. Next, this I picked up, I paid too much for it. I paid, well, not too, too much. I paid $3.99 for this because I thought it was going to sell for a little more. Um, but this is a Daphne Golf Club head cover, Buck Deer with Antlers, realistic. I love picking up head covers, guys. They are up there on one of my favorites and they tend to always sell really well for me. This sold for $15.95, and again, paid a little too much for this, but it sold within the month. Next, I just picked these up in that flatware lot I was telling you about of 251 pieces, and I have about $40 into that flatware lot. So I have, it's, it's about 15 cents a piece. So 30, 60, about 90 cents into this. So we'll round it out at a dollar into this lot. And I took a best offer of 70. I nearly lost it when I saw that I could sell six iced teaspoons. And why this is in Oneida, Dover is the pattern that is down here that you see on the handle. Again, I will try to go over that in the flatware video. Stainless steel, six iced teaspoon set. Guys, $70 for six iced teaspoons. <sighs> Crazy stuff. But when you want to complete a set, you want to complete a set and you'll pay to do it. This I picked up with the flatware as well. And this one was funny because the lady actually looked at me and she's like, "Did you, was this in the right area? And I told her where I got it because she definitely believed this should have been in their fancy area, which it should have been. But for once I had a success at this store because usually they do put everything over there. And this is a Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Easton Press, 100 Greatest Books, 1977 Leather. Sold for a best offer of $72 and I have 80 cents into this. This I definitely got lucky with because this usually would not be where it was, but it really was. I was being honest. And this is a, I, I'm gonna butcher this, Ulu Maika Hawaiian Bowling Game, Vintage Hawaii Yard Bowling. Oh great, bowling twice. You know, guys know I don't, <sighs> I gotta keep focusing on my titles more. I have been lacking, my friends. This I accepted a best offer of $54 for. I showed this in a recent haul video that I picked up for a dollar. And I picked it up because it was different. I didn't know what it would sell for, but it was different. This, I must say, thank you, Dune Movie, for releasing when you did. I've mentioned this in my other videos about um, books that movies are based on and TV shows is it does help to wait during the times that the shows or movies are released because it definitely picks up the sales and prices. And that's what this one did. It's been listed for probably three months and it sold for the full asking of $48.95 the night before the new Dune movie was released. And it's Dune Messiah, Frank Herbert, 1969 book club, guys. It's a book club edition and it's hardcover dust jacket. And then there was a gutter code. So let me show you the gutter code, just because I know sometimes people don't know what I mean by that. And that's at usually the last few pages of the book or the last page. There is this little code there that typically tells the date it was printed. Um, but H52 was the gutter code. And that is important to put if you're a book, have a book that has a gutter code. And I paid a dollar ninety nine at the thrift store for this one, or a dollar twenty nine. I'm trying to remember exactly, but I think it was a dollar twenty nine to a dollar ninety nine. This uh, sold. It's been probably five six months, 
and then I paid a dollar for it. It's a Disney Stitch Plush Authentic Original Disney Park Stuffed Animal Doll 12 inch Lilo. I put Lilo in there because it's for Lilo and Stitch and that's a good keyword to have for it. And it sold for full asking of $12.95. Not a great, great pickup just because it was a bit larger, but it sold and it was easy to ship. And then I had, it was funny, I had these two stitch pieces sell back to back. And this one I just picked up uh, two to three weeks ago at a Goodwill and I paid a dollar for it. It sold for full asking of $49.95, guys. This one surprised me for sure. And it's a Disney Lilo and Stitch hand puppet, 14 inch tall plush mouth moves stuffed toy. And it was in pretty good condition, but it was an uncommon one. And it's a puppet, puppets are good. This I picked up at a thrift store for a dollar and it's Precious Moments Baby Plush Little Friends 2002 Vintage Stuffed Animals Skunk. And it sold for full asking of $20. This one I had to guess a little bit on price because I couldn't find any similars. So I just used an ed educated guess when I compared it with other items that had sell, sold. And I priced it up a little bit because it was a little bit more unique. And it sold for 20 and it's been listed for one to two months. This has only been listed for, I think a week at the most. And it's a piece of ephemera. It's a Coleman quick light lamp directions for assembly and operating sheet only. Sold for a best offer of $9, I believe. And I have like 10 cents to a quarter into this. Then we have these, I have $2 into this lot and uh, they took, it's been probably five to six months at the most for these guys. Probably less, maybe four. And it's Pokemon Collector Series 1 and 2 Activity Book Coloring Tattoos Stickers Read. And this one had, in the first book, it had, someone had obviously used it a few different times. The second was completely clear and it had all its stickers. This was another one of those where I was tempted to keep because I'm like, it's not that valuable and I would love me some vintage Pokemon stickers because I'm an adult. But I did not keep it, but it did sell for $12.95. Just took a while to find the right buyer. Next, we have Wrangler Slim Fit Cowboy Jeans Men 3233 C Photos USA. Sold for a best offer of $24. I picked these up in an online auction lot. There was three of them, and I think I have about $4 into them. This wasn't a great buy. Paid a dollar for it. Sat for over a year. And... Good Night Moon, Margaret Wise, Coles, Cares, Bunny Rabbit, Pajamas, PJs, 12 inch striped. And this, so I will say that I wouldn't, I don't mind doing these buys depending on my space level. So I'm hoping when we move, I'll um, have more space. Cause right now I've taken over uh, where I'm at and I just, I should not expand anymore cause I've taken over the place already. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to expand a little more, continue to grow when we move next. That will hopefully be soon. Um, so I don't mind picking up these when I have space to store them, but it is harder if you don't have as much space. This wouldn't, if I was a person that only could have a very specific amount of listings, I would not pick up these items. But if I'm not that person, I'm happy to. And it did sell for full asking. This took six to eight months, sold for best offer of eight, and it's 1979 SS Happiness Crew Ship Shapes Phineas Safari Outfit, new in package. Um, it was a fine buy. It, I bought it for, I think, 50 cents. This I bought last year before Easter, or it was right before or right after Easter, and it took until this year to sell, and I paid a dollar for it. And it's a Hallmark 1983 Webster Duck Easter Stuffable Plush Vintage with Tag. It was cute because you can put little treats in its tummy. It was a cute little Easter um, thing. And it was vintage, very adorable. Sold for the full asking of $17.95. This I just picked up and it, so it's probably a week or less that it was listed. Picked it up for $2 at the thrift store. And it's Tack, a beautiful games, James Ernest strategy board game, Wise Man's Fear complete. These I paid a dollar for and I bought, I think it was four or five Reeboks of these vintage Reeboks I bought at one estate sale. It was an amazing estate sale that I went to where they were just trying to get rid of stuff and I got a really, a good amount of really nice items and they sold for $53.95 these ones 
and they are Reebok women's classic freestyle pink high top shoes size 7 vintage and these shoes were the first time I ever really saw dry rot happen because I have been twisting shoes for the last year not knowing if I had any idea what I was doing if it actually helped to do so for dry rot but it does guys I think I bought five and one was dry rotted so I only had four to sell and you will if you twist it becomes pretty apparent it's not going to be a fail like fail proof they're still definitely could still be dry rotted and pass the bend test but it really is going to save you if you can do it I've done it discreetly like in the corner at garage sales and I always feel like a wild person when I do it so things we do as a reseller right and next one we just have two more again this is a very short video because I just didn't have a ton of sales but we're getting it out because I dedicated to do this every week so that you could really see things week to week and be honest with you guys about how it's going. Not just show you the good stuff because it's not all good, but it is definitely the pros outweigh the cons most of the time. And this is, I picked this lot up with the flatware as well. So I've already sold two lots out of, I made 42 lots out of that pile of flatware I got. And this is Oneida USA Unity Dinner Soup Place Spoon Stainless Flatware Set of Two. $14. Still, I mean, not as good as money as iced tea spoons, but still great money for just two spoons. And I have 30 to 40 cents into this lot. And one cross-listing sale. Just one. And it's a Folkmanis Golden Retriever Dog 18-inch Full Hand Puppet Plush Realistic Stuffed Toy. Sold on Poshmark, only been listed a week or two, and I paid $2 at a thrift store. All right, guys, that is everything for this week. Thank you so much for joining me as always, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.